We are living in a culture of surveillance, being watched, tracked or listened to on a daily basis. Increasingly, schools and parents are turning to technology to keep an eye on their children and staff. In this program, we're going to look at some of the examples of how this is happening and ask, is it right? I think as society sort of progresses, anything that makes life easier uh, is to be recommended. I really do not think we should be using this technology. I think we're bonkers using this technology. No manufacturer of any security product should ever uh, say that something is 100% secure. Nothing is. Britain is one of the most watched societies in the world and has more than a fifth of the world's CCTV cameras. It's estimated that on any given day a person can be seen on CCTV over 200 times. And in an increased effort to beef up security, clamp down on bullying, truancy and antisocial behaviour, Schools are now hitting the record button to protect the nation's children. Stockwell Park High School in South London has over a hundred CCTV cameras around its site and there's practically no place for its students to hide with a constant reminder that someone's always watching. CCTV in schools is not uncommon. After all, we see it quite often on the perimeters. But what's different here is they've taken it one step further and put the cameras in the classrooms. Each class is equipped with two cameras situated at the front and rear of the room, giving an uninterrupted view. Microphones record the audio content of the lesson and all the material is stored on a hard drive kept under lock and key in a room next to each classroom. But why go down this route at all? We've got a lot of computers, computers in most of our classrooms now. So quite a lot of expensive kit, uh, projectors and so on. Um, we wanted to, we were obviously thinking about security for, 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 for those. Well, we'd had a good experience with the, using CCTV for the external security of the school and it made sense to really uh, just extend that into here. When you first mooted the idea in, in the staff room and said, by the way, everybody, we've, we've got this great idea, we're going to protect our kit and all your classes are going to be filmed, mm -hmm. how did that go down? Uh, well, um, okay, first of all, staff were, could, could understand the security um, side of things. However, they were obviously worried about how the system could then be used. Could it be used or would it be used to spy on them? Um, you know, what was the extent of our, our use, management use, going to be of the, of the system? Well done, Stuart. A speech persuading them that the school uniform should be banned. I was apprehensive at first, actually, when I first joined the school as cameras. I wondered what behaviour was like, theft maybe. Um, I found, however, you, you forget they're there very, very quickly and you carry on working. Students don't always seem to realise maybe they're there and they don't interfere at all. Do you ever look back at the stuff? Do you? I mean, no, I don't think we're allowed, actually. There's, um, there was a few jokes and whatnot. We wanted to check each other's lessons out and see how you react under certain circumstances. We're not allowed to learn with all the monitors. So the, the policies in place for them are quite Complete, strict? Very strict, very strict. We have to apply to the head teacher um, to look at the cameras, which is I've never wanted to once check out the cameras for behaviour or an incident in the classroom. But do cameras in the classroom alter yeah, the way in which staff teach? I suppose I'm more mindful of the fact that I have to be professional at all points and very mindful of how I speak and how I address the students and that as much as they're there to ensure they meet the re expected requirements. So I suppose it keeps me in the straight and narrow just as much really. In order for us to film in here today we have to get consent. Mm -hmm. Do you have to get consent for these? Um, in the sense that we tell the, our parents that, um, that we have this system in place, um, we tell uh, any teachers that are going to be working here that they'll be working in an environment which is covered by cameras, we explain to them the reasons that we're doing it, um, and uh, I suppose um, anybody who has um, very strong feelings against it can, can not come here, not send their child here, um, not come and teach here, um, but, uh, but we haven't found that. 
Research into the effectiveness of CCTV in public places has been mixed. When an incident happens, we don't rush straight to the cameras. When, we, when an incident happens, we, 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 we have... We have the human witnesses, um, and that, that's, they're, they're the people we go to. Um, we have our policies and procedures for how we investigate incidents and so on. Um, and, you know, 90% of the time, that's, that's, that's all we need, um, and, uh, and the issue is resolved. How many times have you had to turn to the CCTV? Um, once where someone a member of staff wasn't available and another student had said their mobile phone got lost and they needed someone to put forward a form so I wasn't directly involved in that and a second time where outside my classroom on the corridor uh, some of the displays had been graffitied and I was fairly sure a particular student had done it and I wanted to to make sure of that before I accused them of anything. Camera's footage could be used as discussion material for CPD purposes. It can certainly be used as evidence to prevent malicious accusations. As a young male teacher, you are made aware of the potential for accusations to be made against you. And one of the things they always point out is you shouldn't be in a classroom with one other student. There should be someone else as a witness and at the very least your door should be open so people could see. Um, the camera takes away that, that need. Schools might argue that putting cameras in classrooms and corridors reduces bullying and antisocial behaviour. But there are many who say it's not as simple as that. I think there are issues here about invasion of privacy and invasion of professional privacy. Um, I would not want um, this kind of big brother camera in the corner of the classroom. Um, culture to proliferate. Um, on the other hand, CCTV cameras, if they are deterrents for crime, uh, and if they're deterrents as well in those places where uh, bullying happens, um, then uh, that's a good use of it. I think very much we would be asking the question, why is it being used? You know, what are we trying to find out? Do we have baselines in relation to information about the school so that we know that perhaps if we use CCTV in the classroom it's going to be making a difference? So coming back to the, you know, the, kind of the original idea, why is it being used, what data is being gathered and what are we going to be doing with the data? What role has CCTV played in improving this school? It's quite difficult to, put a, to, 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 to gauge it. Um, the, 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 the thing it's certainly done has made the school a secure place to be for the children and the staff. Now we do have a secure environment here where we can work with the children, where the children can relax, they can, they can feel um, comfortable, um, they can have some degree of uh, some expectation that their property and so on is going to be um, cared for, secure. Um, and, um, and that they're not going to be bullied um, that, uh, or intimidated. The system automatically deletes footage after two days unless it needs to be archived for evidence. There's also no facility to network the data and view material remotely. A 2007 direct gov survey found that one in four parents wanted an online link to their children during the school day. And while this is not a practice widespread in schools, it is prevalent in many preschool nurseries. Using a secure password, parents can log in and view their children from home or work via the internet. We have complete um, uh, monitoring systems so that they can only access um, during the time that their children attend the nursery and have access to the rooms that their, their children are actually in. So they can't view other rooms if, unless their child's actually in that room. It's got good health and safety um, issues around it, insofar as if a child has an accident, for example, we obviously report that to parents and get them to feel informed. But actually, you can actually show them that it was an accident. You can actually say, and um, we'll show you exactly what happened if they're not here. So it's fantastic for that. So it actually protects the staff rather than, than, than being invasive. I can't personally see a problem with it. I mean, I think initially, yes, people would have their fears and concerns, and I think the kids might act up a little bit. Um, especially older ones if you're looking at senior school. We've had nothing but good reviews about the system and it works really, really well for us. Online webcams are not common in schools yet, but there are other ways in which parents can keep tabs on their children. 